it's so nice to see you smiling today I said that if this video gets 100 likes then I'm going to reveal my daily routine which unlocked my nightmare productivity mode and that's what we're gonna do now Welcome to my empty room. Yes, I sleep on the floor. No, I'm not poor. My room was full of junk a year ago, but I went minimalist for feasible reasons. As you can tell, I have lots of stuff up on the wall. To-do lists and schedules. This is the wall. The wall that holds my daily routine. Okay, I know it looks complicated, but I'm gonna clear it up. This is basically a clock. 3 a.m. is here. This is when I wake up, wakey-wakey, make green tea and change into something comfortable which isn't my pajamas because if I stay in my pajamas, I'll feel lazy all day. In the morning, when we wake up is actually when our willpower is the highest. That is why I take advantage of this time of the day and try to make the most of it. This routine is kind of inspired by Alex Becker. Anyway, here's when I will be doing my high effort work. Depending on the day, I will either work on my book, free fall or work on difficult art tasks. During this time, I will not use my phone at all. Zero distractions. At 3 a.m., there are no distractions anyway. Who's gonna call, right? And there is no noise. Everyone is asleep, except Mishi. When time hits 6 a.m., I leave my desk and I work out. I have weights and some workout gear. Some days I do weightless and some days I weightlift. My workout will span from 20 to 40 minutes. Then I take a shower and I'm still shampoo free if you're wondering. I'll link the video where I talk about it in the description so you can watch it. Then I continue working until it's time to get dressed for university around 7 p.m. I attend university and try to do my assignments between lectures so that I will have time to work on other tasks at home. I get home around 3 p.m. At around this time period, somewhere 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. is when I will break my fast and eat breakfast. After I break my fast, I'm free to eat as much as I want and whenever I want. And since eating brings most of our energy into our stomachs, by the way, and makes us less efficient and more lethargic, I'll work on my low effort tasks around this time. These include easy art tasks, editing videos, reading and listening to audiobooks or to podcasts. I'll continue doing those until around 8 p.m. Then I unroll my so-called bed, actually just a few bed covers and pillows, and then I get to sleep. I sleep for around seven to eight hours, and then I wake up at 3 a.m. and cycle repeats. It's the routine I follow every day religiously since the COVID began. Or I haven't been totally consistent with it because you know, there's vacations, there's Sometimes things come up and you can't really stick to it every single day. But anyway, I try to maintain this routine almost every day, most of the days of the year. Except when my boyfriend Tweety comes over and I just can't say no. It makes me stay up till 11 or 12 with him watching documentaries and stuff. Bonus info, I don't always intermittent fast. I'm not a terrorist, I can take days off. And if it's a weekend, I'll just keep working instead of going to university. I got rid of my social life. I used to be popular and have lots of friends, but this year I realized it's useless. So I only kept the people who are on my level of ambition. So that's 0.0000001 of the friends I used to hang out with. And I go out once a week, sometimes even less. The thing is I'm extroverted, but I value my time way too much. So maybe it sounds selfish, but it's not because I'm working on my YouTube channel and book designed to help people and open minds. I'm sacrificing my social life for a greater purpose, in my opinion. Greater than taking stories and showing people on Instagram I miss popular party girl. Other than that, oh, also I'm a health nut and I'm also caffeine free. I drink caffeine strategically, rarely. For example, today I drank caffeine and I really regret it because I'm so hyper and I can't focus on anything. During the day, I only check my social media through my laptop for work, not for scrolling, and I have an app timer to ensure I don't fall down the rabbit hole. To be mega organized, I also added this schedule. There are days my main task is art, and other days I focus only on writing. I take German lessons once a week. Here's my goals list. Art, my book, YouTube art. Listen to music when I'm feeling down because music puts me in a really good mood if it's the right music. I have a channel where I only do slowed music with edits and I love listening to it when I'm drawing or writing my book. So I'm gonna link it also if you want to check it out. So here's the stuff I keep reminding myself I do not need. No need for pointless hangouts. No need for buying stuff I don't need. No need for having too high grades because my focus is on my art and my book. No using social 
social media, no decorating because I'm a minimalist anyway, no hurrying to finish university because I don't have to hurry. If I don't hurry, I'm giving myself more time to focus on my priorities. By the way, I have the coolest Redbubble merch that you're really going to enjoy checking out. I'm gonna link it, you're gonna love it. And let me know what you think of this crazy daily routine that I've set up for myself.